tonight, ladies and gentlemen. We are set now here for our main event, Aidens Hill Hotel. Let me hear your voice. Are you main event ready? Well, ladies and gentlemen, now we find out who is the number one in the country. Champion versus champion. We fight 10 by three minute rounds. Titles on the line here. The Australian welterweight title and the Australasian welterweight crown. Introducing to you first, you'll find her standing across in the red corner. Weighed in officially, 66.20 kilos. He wears the gold, the blue and the white trunks. Trained out of the Fortitude Boxing Gym by Steve Della and Luke Meldon. Brings to the ring professional fight record, 21 fights, 16 wins, 4 losses. And the one draw he is, the number two ranked welterweight by the ANBF and he is the reigning, defending Australasian welterweight champion. Give it up for Bayern Benny! And uh, his opponent standing across in the blue corner. Weighed in officially 66.25 kilos. He wears the navy and silver trunks. Hailing from the Matrix, a boxing gym where he is trained by Stephen NG. Professional fight record, 13 fights, 12 wins and just the one loss. He is the current reigning, defending Australian welterweight champion. Give it up for Tenacious Tyson Banks! <laughs> Referee, third man in the middle in charge of the action. When the bell rings, Mr. Paul Tapley. Tyson Ben. Okay, fellas, let's back to both in the dressing rooms. Obey my commands at all times, protect yourselves at all times. Touch gloves, good luck to the both of all right, we're ready to go. The dual titles on the line, the Australasian welterweight and the Australian welterweight belts. So two champions, will only be one after tonight. Well, this is it, guys. The one we've been waiting for, a contest for the Australian welterweight title between Tyson Best, the reigning champion, and Ben Kite, the challenger. This one will be entertaining, to say the least, Adam. Oh, I've been looking forward to this one all night. Two of the best welterweights in the country. Ben Kite, an absolute workhorse. Tyson Best has one of the best jabs I've ever seen and is a machine and the current Australian champion. Yeah, Tyson Best, the current welterweight Australian champion, making his second defense, defense of that title tonight. So we'll see if he can get the, the chockies here tonight once again, like he did in his first defense. Kite starting nice and fast, putting the pressure on, on Best early. Bearing the punches up, upstairs, downstairs. Yeah, first fight for the year for Tyson Best, so you'll see if uh, the ring rust is still there, evident from uh, the back end of last year, but it looks very tidy here in these opening stands, huh? These nice. opening stages, really starting well with his jab. Nice jab there by, by Best, I think he's really just got to get through this first round and, and relax. We're quite starting nice and fast. You can see he's all, everything that he throws is, is strong. He's got that high work rate and he always comes forward. Yep, ben Kite fights out of the formidable Fortitude Boxing Gym under head trainers Steve Deller and Luke Meldon. He's an explosive fighter and like his name suggests, he can bang with his punches. Well, we've got to, I think what Tyson Best has to be careful of here is that he's got to make sure that he's answering with, with punches because when Ben Kite throws, he throws in numbers every time. That work rate is going to be there from round one to round ten. Yeah, Ben's on an 11 fight winning streak at the moment, so he's undoubtedly in career best form. But I think Tyson Best will be his biggest test, no doubt, so far in that streak. So. We'll see how he fares tonight. Go, Ben. Let go of his arm. Work out of it, boys. Had good recent wins over the highly credentialed Ben Saber and Mick Whitehead. So he's, he's been tuned up for this Australian title bout as Ben Saber. Ben Kite, I should say. A nice jab there by Best. Got to make sure that he's answering these shots. 
Because at the moment, every time he throws a single, Pike is answering with three. Oh, nice right hand there by Best. Lands on the chin of Pike. Pike went down. Well, I tell you what, they both Seven. hit each other at the Eight. same time. Okay. But Hands Tyson's up. had a bit Hands more grunt in it and up. forced them to the canvas. Oh, the oh. big right hand there, straight off the Another bat. Another one. Don't. Now that's what you call a round stealer. Well, we. That's a handy lead to take into round number two. What a turn of events there in the final stages of that first round. That's a 10-8 round for Tyson Best now. That could be definitive at the end. I think that will give him some extreme confidence going into round two. See if they catch the shot on the action replay. I'll tell you what, they hit each other almost at the identical time. There it goes. There it is. It was almost a culmination of three shots landing there. But I'd say work rate in round number one was definitely for Kite. But then that last shot, the round stealer, took the round for Tyson Best. Yeah, the work rate really adds to nothing because it will be a 10-8 round to Tyson Best with, with the knockdown scored. See how Ben Kite bounces back. And Tyson Best, that will give him extreme confidence now. As you can see, Ben Kite trying to... Oh, Kite landing to one himself quicker, right through the middle. Another right hand over the top. Both boys landing, telling shots. Nice defense there by Tyson Best holding center ring. Almost manhandles Kite to throw him on the ropes. Yeah, good turn there, showing his strength. That's what that boys want to do. They want to hold center ring. But Kite answers. And as he answers with he answers with a barrage of punches back. Yeah, he's a culmination puncher, is Ben Kite. Even though he's, he's had some knockout wins, it's more his work rate that, that exhausts his opponent. He's got a great jab as well, Kite. It's not, not the fastest jab, but it's it's accurate. It's it, when it goes through there, it lands nine times out of ten, and something comes right after it. Tyson would have gained some great sparring out of the Matrix Boxing Gym, sparring the likes of the Flamingo NG, the world-ranked Flamingo NG. He'll be prepped for this. He's be raring to go. Nice little lead hook there by Tyson Best coming forward, but again, Kite answers. Both boys starting to pick their shots a little bit better here. As nice Tyson counter forward. work by Tyson Best. Working hard on the inside. Step back, step back. Both here, stop the back of the head. Hey, tighten it up. Fight. He's a new man, Tyson Best. He's, he started his 2020 campaign with a bang. He suffered his first devastating loss in the middle of last year, but had two good wins after that. So the confidence is back on track here for Tyson Best. Nice double chopping right hand there by Tyson Best on the inside. Boys getting quite messy, tying each other up. Referee Paul Tapley breaking the boys up. Watch those heads, sometimes they're coming forward, clashing heads almost. You see both boys walking forward on each other now, that's why they're, they're tying up with, they're both tying up as they get in there. Oh, close. good combination there from Kai. Starts with the body, finishes the head Kai, not really effective shots because it, they're more smothered than anything. Good jab to the body for best. I'd like to see him come over the top with the right hand after that. Drop the guard of Kite and then come over the top. I think that's what the coach Stephen NG in the blue corner was calling for as well, Nathan. I think I think he also sees the same the same opening in the red corner. Very even round there, number round number two. Yeah, as we see some snippets from round two, 
Good shots there from Kite. Oh, he really sits on his punch as well, Ben Kite, doesn't he? Yeah. When he throws that right hand, you can see it really transfers from the feet. Yeah, some venom in those shots. Oh, but Tyson Best has that little counter right hand over the top. He's got that fast reaction as well. <laughs> Round number three coming up. As the bell instructs the start of round number three. Kite starts fast again. Tyson Best much more composed tonight. Very confident. He's oozing confidence here, Best, especially with that first round knockdown. He knows he's got the power to stop this man. You're yeah, doing very well now, Tyson Best, holding that center ring. Kite throwing nice, strong punches when he walks forward. Just got to be careful not to walk into anything himself. Yeah, just missing with the right hand there. Right, step back, step back. Get off his head. Nice jab there by Tyson Best. Keeping Kite at range, but then Kite answers. Two shots landing straight right, through the back, middle. Good jabs, but only singles from now to Tyson, so I'd like to see him double that up. You see both guys are quite aggressive style fighters. That's why they keep tying themselves up. They're both trying to come in with those shots and ending up getting in a tangle there. Look, it's Tyson's trying to own Ben Kite. You can see he's trying to bully him around the ring. He's trying to say, this is my home. And this is my crown, you're not taking it from me. And that, that's the right thing to do, Nathan. Once you're getting close there, walk straight through him. And you can see Tyson's got that beautiful little right hand there. Once he's in close, he can just fire that straight down. But Kite's got that work rate. Here he goes now. Ben Kite opening up on Tyson Best. Yeah, this is a good, good period but here Best for answers. Kite. Tyson Best answers and ties him up and manhandles Kite backwards. Nice left hook there by Ben Kite. Back on the jab, all right hand. Left hand by Kite, both hitting the mark. There you go, Ben. Break the back. Tyson Sit wrapping up well. Around. As poor Tapley breaks them. And back on they are. Right hand just missing the mark there from Best. Best is going to have to try and keep Kite away. There's a nice little one two there, both landing through. Nice work right there by Kite. Good body shot, straight right, hitting the mark from Tyson Best. Tenacious Tyson Best turning into the aggressor now to finish round number three. And you can just see how much thicker he is than his opponent, right. Kite. He is a thick boy for this weight. The, the, the body stature in these two fighters are completely opposite. We'll see where that may pay dividends in later rounds, Nathan, where Tyson Best almost throwing Ben Kite around now. In the later rounds, that might start to take its toll on Ben Kite. Yeah, he's manhandling to this stage, and it might wear Kite out. That's very close rounds. Yeah, good shots here from Kite. A lot of in-close fighting. Another very evenly matched fight there. All fights tonight have been very close, very evenly matched. Well, I tell you what, you missed the opening stanza, the before dark. That was exactly the same. It was, it's been close fights through the day session and now following into this night session, nothing's changed. And this is one of the great things now which COVID has created, that we're having these all Queensland state versus state bouts where the best guys are having to fight each other. Well, there's no option. So this is, this is good for Queensland boxing. Round number four starting now. Both boys starting with jabs. And a good right hand there from Best. Right! Step back. You're holding in there, Ben. Good variation there from Kite. Starting to the body, finishing to the head. That's where 
Ben Kite always has his success. He's known as being an extremely fit fighter with a very high work rate. He will sit there for 10 rounds and just be relentless. So the plan for Tyson has to be to keep him off, keep him at bay and land those, land those telling shots. Good body shot. Continually finding themselves tying each other up, the boys. Oh, right hand stuck through there from Tyson Best once again. The variation of Ben Kite is what where he's having his success, Nathan, where he's going from the body to the head. Just non-stop. Dropping that guard of best. As we oh. can see there with the big right hand. The he's right felt that through. pain. He's not stopping punching. He's ben got to tie up. He's landing Good shots man. at will on Tyson Best. He has to tie up. Best there. has to answer. Taking too many shots in this round has Tyson Best. Tyson goes to tie him up. Doing his best job of tying him up, trying to get his head back as Tyson Best. But Kite wants nothing of it, trying to break free. That's where Tyson Best looks the best when he's throwing those punches at long range. And this is where he doesn't want to be, with his back to the ropes. Right hand just missing the mark from Kite once again. Oh, that lead right hand. He's had success, so he's going there again. Both boys finding themselves in the middle, tying each other up again. This majority of this fight has been fought in close. Just throwing punches, landing where they can. Oh, wow, wee. Look at these punches from Ben Kite. But best, he comes back. Referee Paul Tapley is earning his paycheck tonight. Little bit of a cut opening up on Ben Kite's left eye. I'd say that would be from one of Tyson Best chopping right hands. Yeah, he's caught him with a couple. There was one there, but there was a receipt from Benny Kite. Oh. So the appreciation for Rikard girls us down to the fifth round. Oh, this is where Ben Kite landed that culmination of combination punching on Tyson Best. It yeah, took too many shots and that's Little section there, the Tyson Best. The second round of round five. Round number five. Yeah, round five of ten. Halfway through this, it's gone fast. That means it's been good. Everything that Tyson Best does show, Ben Kite's got an answer. Tyson Best turning him around. Manhandling him onto the ropes. He wants to make this physical. found with Tyson, he likes to keep his head up when he's punching. So I'd like to see him rolling with his punches a bit better, especially when you have a good opponent like Ben right in front of you. So he can't be as upright. He's got to come in, and as he throws his punches, he's got to roll his head with those punches. Well, we've seen that tonight where he's worn those shots on the ropes, haven't we, Nathan, when, where he hasn't been doing that. Yeah, very upright. Nice little catch counter right hand there by Best though. But it ends up much where it started. Ben Kite leaning on Tyson on the ropes. Relentless punching. Right, step back, step back, step back. Just 
just feel this is going to be the battle of the fitness, this, this game, this match tonight, because both boys, they're in for the fight. Again, another one that's going to be extremely difficult to score. Will it come down to that first knockdown? Yes, they try a good right hand there right. from Kite. We still have five rounds to go. Ben, let his arm go. Mark, you're changing your head as well. Right! Step back. Step back. Pouring on the pressure once again is caught. Tyson trying to work in close. Oh, right hand from Best. Now that's nice work by Tyson Best. When he throws that sharp combination punches from distance, he looks so good. And what did it come off? A double jab. Making sure his opponent was backing up with that double jab, then the right hand followed and cracked to hit his mark. He needs to. That's the only way to keep Ben quite off of him. If he's throwing that jab, the double jab, the right from distance. Otherwise, if he's just standing there and waiting, they end up tangled up in the middle. Right, step back. That's the end of that round once again. I want to thank our major sponsors here tonight, Ultra Tune, Sean Buckley, Nick Irwin from Pivotal Homes, and Ryan Hunter from Zoo Creative. Other sponsors tonight, Nava Plumbing, BWS Electrical, Bill Chaser, Matt and Jamie, and Thor Building Products, Steel Ryan. Thank you for your contribution. out here. Ben Kite getting every last bit of rest that he can, waiting for the bell. And here they go, round number six. Oh, nice looping right over the top of that jab by Ben Kite. Right, step back, step back. Paul Tapley doing a good job of breaking them up as they're tangling up. Ben, let his arm go. Both boys starting to grapple a lot more now. Fatigue starting to set in potentially. Well, not really. Look at the output. There's no fatigue. Oh, bit of forearm in the face there by quite leaning on Tyson. Right! Step back. Really, Tyson Best really needs to get back to that to boxing at distance right, to stop back. tying step up like this, and, which is Ben Kite's strength. And for Ben Kite, he needs to keep on coming forward and keep just throwing those punches in high volumes. That That's much, where he's having success. That was much better by Best when he had that long jab right, out, step back, step back, step back. keeping him at range and hitting him at the end of his shots. That's what he needs to do. That's better. Right, step back, step back and open. Right hand, left hook, there from Kite, just missing the mark. A lot of these little chopping shots are hard to score on the inside because the referees, the judges can't see them clearly when they're inside holding and punching. So a lot of the time they're exerting a lot of energy for no reason. This grappling, that's what zaps the energy. This holding and trying to muscle your opponent out, muscle your opponent, pivot them. That's what zaps all your energy. Less than one minute to go in round number six. The Australian welterweight title, Tyson Best versus Ben Kite. Don't hold it back of his head. Older versus challenger. Who will be Victor as Tyson Best starts unloading on that corner, but Ben quite pivots and turns him and backs him up onto the ropes now. Tyson. 
Little triple right hand there by Ben right, Kite. Step back. Yeah, step very back. unconventional, but scored nevertheless. These punches not not quite having the same snap as they did in the earlier rounds now. A bit of fatigue setting in by, for both boys. Most of the fight has been fought, as you're seeing on the replay now, right in close. Four rounds to go in the main event of the evening. I still believe this is anyone's fight, Nathan. See who wants it more. Yeah, these last four rounds, they'll be decisive. And Tyson Best, he does have that advantage of that early knockdown, but quite his work rate has been relentless as well. And these last four rounds will dictate the fight. This is round seven. Jab there from Tyson Best. And a good right hand there from Kite. Right, step back. Step back, mate. Let's <laughs> go, Tyson. Step back, step back. Get your forearm, get your forearm. See the fatigue kicking in now of Tyson Best where when their boys are exchanging in the middle now where Ben Kite's almost getting the upper hand of the wrestles. Now Tyson Best lands two sharp shots. Yeah, that was a good slip right hand there from Best. Right, step back, step back, right now, Ben. Good jab from Kite. Both boys right. starting to get tangled a bit more right. often now. The fatigue set, starts to set in for both boys. Yeah, uh, it looks like it'll be a very frustrating fight to be a part of, Nathan, and in there. Every exchange ending up in a tangle right in the middle. I think Paul Tapley's doing a great job, though. He's making them fight out, and if they right. don't fight out, he'll break them up and make them fight. Good right hand from Best. And there's a receipt from Kite. Seesawing round. Once again, round seven. That, that was a nice little move by Tyson Best there. Shoved him off with that left shoulder, threw the, fired the right hand down. That's what they need to do when they're in close. Right. Ben Kite does not stop coming forward. Now he's got a big motor. He's thrown plenty, and he's still throwing plenty. A couple of telling shots oh, landing right there. Right hand from Kite. Right, step back, step back. Good yeah. move from Best. Three and four down the pipe going. there from Best. Right. A lot step of holding back, and hitting. Back. Yep, poor Tappy doing a good job again. Once again, breaking him up. Trying to make it no, hold him. less messy. Nice Hit. little swivel of the feet there by Best, putting right, Kite on the back, ropes. No doubt they will end up back together in no time. There they go. Yeah, this is getting scrappy. There you go. Right! Step back. Somebody's going to take control here again and the control will come from the jab. Keeping nice that combination distance. going forward there by Kite. Three straight punches, oh, left hook landing. Yep. Oh, right hand too, in close. Now following We're up with it. that momentum. Good last little period there for Kite. The end of the seventh round. This is close again.
See some highlights from the previous round. Oh, right hand. Ben Light looks good when, he, when he's throwing those punches, giving himself a little bit of room. That's why they've got to be careful not to crowd himself. Kite's rushing in a lot and he's not landing the telling shots. When he's giving himself that half a metre, he's really scoring with success. Shout out to some of our sponsors, Matt and Jamie from Bill Chaser, Nathan Bass from Naba Plumbing, and Brett W. Smith from BWS Electrical. Thanks, boys. Three rounds to go in our Australian welterweight title. Oh, nice right hand there. Kai almost walked into. Yeah, that was a good up, shot from the best. Now relentless work by Kai. Good turn again from Best. Not giving him anything. Oh, smacking him. Maybe a little bit under the belt there, but got away with it, nevertheless. Tyson Best is trying to throw some punches from distance now, but quite just taking that distance away from him. Getting up right in the middle, locked up with locked arms. Tyson Best throwing another combination from distance. Yeah, three and four shots straight down the barrel from Best. We're going to the final oh. two minutes of round eight. Quite right, having success there with those last two right hands over the top. He's on, go. He's on, go. He's on. We're quite surprised that we haven't seen... Oh, uh, right hand from Kite. We haven't seen a, a cut or a headbutt yet in this fight, with the majority of the fight being spent right in close quarters. Amazing, really. Nice body work there by Best. <laughs> Best tries to work in close. Step back, step back. Gonna start with the jab for best. His, his better punches come off a jab. Step back, step back. Good yeah, jab. Every time he's throwing it, Kite is just taking it off and walking through it, and then they end up back to together, mixed up. Yeah, Kite's starting to get over him in this final exchange of his eighth step round. Back, step back. <laughs> Gonna get back on the jab, back to center ring, does best. He's done, guys. I'd say this one would even be a harder one to score than the last few fights, yeah, Nathan. It's gonna be tough. It's gonna be tough. I don't envy the judges. Right, step back. Get off his head. Good shot from best. Good body ribbon. White came in. These punches just do not stop from both boys. Oh, nice little counter body work there. Both boys definitely done their fitness work. Mate, if you're doing punch stats on this, you'd run out of ink because it has been non-stop from both boys. The output's been enormous. They've both done the work, obviously, in the gym. As we enter the penultimate round, round nine of 10, it's anyone's game still. Well, first down, nine and 10 to come, round nine. So next, round nine of 10 here, Australia. Will Tyson best keep his Australian title, or will we have a new champion in Ben Kite? The next two rounds will tell. Who wants it more? Very experienced. 
experienced corner in Kite's corner, former Commonwealth Games representative, Greg Eady. Unbelievable pro fighter himself as well. Had the great feats in the amateurs that he scored. So plenty of experience coming out of that corner with Luke Melbourne as well. As well as the chief, Steve Deller. For a moment there, the boys were fighting at distance. We are seeing some punches land. It was, it was almost a nice change for the bout. Well, here we are back in the back in the middle again. But we've watched right. very very much most of the fight. Those boys coming forward, linking right. up once again, having to be broken by Paul Tapley, the referee. That single jab just aren't enough at the moment for Tyson Best. Work rate continues from Kite and a big right hand over the top. Tyson's just going to start throwing punches and bunches again. That's where he's had most of his success. Good rips to the body there, Tyson. Going from rope to rope. Walking with each other from one side of the ring to the other. Non-stop punching. There's that triple right hand by Ben Kite again. Unconventional, right. but scored, as you said, Nathan. Oh, nice right hand there by Tyson Best. Kite didn't like it. Ends up on the ropes, throwing punches, scoring with the right hand himself. Entangled once again, Paul Tapley trying to break him free, trying to make him fight out. These boys have got some engines. A relentless pace from go to O. Oh, right hand over the top from Ben Kite. Another one over the top. Ben. Landing again, Kite over the top of there. The arms are tangled and he's throwing punches from all Watch sorts of angles. Right, step back. Put your head in there. Oh. 20 seconds in this penultimate round left. Both boys center ring. Oh, right hand once again from Kite. Kite they come good together and punch from, from a distance at range. Both boys look at their best at range. Well, they keep ending up tangled up, fighting in close. Another round in the books. One round to go. We see some snippets. Oh, it's a big right hand there from Ben Kite. Maybe the decisive point of that round. We have one round left of this main event, Nathan. One round left of a dual, dual Australian title header. Two shows in one day, never been done before. Huge day of boxing out of the Eaton's Hill Hotel here in Brisbane. One round to go till we find out who is the Australian welterweight champion. And you can see Stephen G asking his combatant some questions. Do you want this? Do you want to retain this title? He's nodding, he wants it. He wants it. Let's see if he can deliver here in this final round. Red Kite straight on his feet. Three minutes left. Who wants it more? Ben Kite firing from all angles. Right, Best step ties back, him up. Tap, Paul Tapley breaks him up and they go again. Nice one-two combination punch by Tyson Best. Yeah, two good straight punches from Tyson Best. Answers. Right, step back, step back. Nice. Both boys coming together, tying up again, trying to work out. Paul Tapley's done a marvelous right, job here tonight. Giving them every opportunity to fight out themselves, but if they're not, he'll break them for them. As Ben Kite pours on the pressure once again. Oh, three and four shots there. A couple might be low from Tyson Best, but they're scoring. Both boys are punching their way out of there now. 
in the tenth and final Go round. Step back. Tie it up, guys. How much is left in the tank? Switching his footwork there, Ben Kite. The lead right here. Right, step up, step up. This output is enormous. A minute 40 seconds to go in this 10th and final round. Will best be the best? Kite tries to put the pressure back on. Gets turned on the ropes with Tyson Best throwing punches non-stop. Just over one minute to go. This is Australian welterweight oh. title. Ben Kite lands a right hand on the chin of Tyson Best. Up, under. Look at the rolling and punching from Ben Kite. And straight down the barrel from Tyson Best. 57 seconds left. We're into the final minute of this championship bout. Who wants it the most? Oh, another right hand. Both boys landing a right hand each. Good body shot there from Tyson Best, catching Kite as he was coming in, but Kite pours on the pressure once again. Ben Kite has not stopped punching in this final round. Tyson Best landing a beautiful left rip to the body on the inside. Yeah, that hair Kite there. Keep him up, Tyson. He almost Mate, lifted stop. his feet up. Step back. Step back. 15 seconds to go. Round number 10. Tyson Best going for the body again. We're into the final 10 seconds. This is all or nothing. Who wants it the most? Will it be Kite or Best for the Australian welterweight title? And there we have it. 10 rounds in the bank. Great fight, both boys. How will the judges score this one, Nathan? Ben Kite has his arms raised. He thinks he will be the new Australian welterweight champion. Yeah, he was confident. He's very confident. So is his corner. He's done a marvellous job here tonight. You can't take that away from him. But so is best. It's been a great contest. I would say work rate, punching output, definitely in favour of Ben Kite. Precision punching at distance. Tyson Best. How will the judges score it? Keeping in mind, he's got that first round knockdown. Very true, Nathan. That could be the telling factor in this bout. Extremely close, extremely hard rounds to score. The judges scorecards again here tonight to finish us off. So we'll see who is. Crown, the both the Australasian the champion and also the tonight. Australian champion. The two belts on the line. And not only is this for the Australian welterweight title, it is for the Australasian welterweight title Correct. as well. Two titles up for grabs in this belt. So we will have the calculators out, it must be close. Belts are coming to the ring. Both boys worked extremely hard tonight. Ten tough rounds fought. All right, so ladies and gentlemen, we'll get set to make this. As we throw uh, up to Port Hapley for the decision. Fighters, what a great contest. And also from one of our great sponsors, Peter from uh, Ron Wallace is going to uh, make the belts presentation. So again, ladies and gentlemen, the two titles on the line. We go to the judges' scorecards. Judge Adam Height scored the bout 97 to 92. Judge Paul Williams scored the bout 97 to 92. 
Judge Rodney Marsh scored about 95 to 94, all for your winner by unanimous decision. And it goes to the red corner, Bagger Benny. There we have it, we have a new so Australian welterweight champion Australasian and retains champion. his Australasian title, Ben Kite.